Welcome to Off the Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorham Brothers virtual styling team here again today with a video teaching you everything you need to know to clean those fall, winter cut and sew caps. Got a quick one for you today. Let's get to it. Okay, so with the release of our fall, winter cut and sew collection, you probably have a few new shapes, new materials that you haven't worked with in a while. And if you're wondering how to clean them, that's what I'm here to answer. So I want to be clear, this is about our fall winter collection. So it's going to be specifically the wool based wool exterior cut and sew caps. For a spring summer video, I'll show you how to clean those too. Although some of the principles I'm going to teach you today apply to both. So that said, what do you need? Let me show you. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need is a hat brush. You can find one of these in our hat care cleaning kit inside that kit comes with not only a brush, but an orange cleaning sponge and also a spot remover. All three of those things are gonna be helpful for you no matter what kind of a hat collection you have, but you need a brush. If you're serious about hats, you're gonna need this eventually, so get a brush, get a hat brush. Can't say that enough. So, brush first thing. Second thing, also really good to have for any kind of hat you have, whether it's cut and sew, fedoras, baseball caps, anything is Baby wipes, yes, I'm serious, baby wipes. These work wonders, not only on cleaning hats, but other things, of course, cheap and super easy to get. So get some baby wipes. The last thing is gonna be a wool safe cleaning spray. So you can do whatever you want on that. For me, I like a foaming spray. I'm using a very little bit of that. Again, it depends on what we're cleaning, but for an exterior, I like a nice foaming wool safe spray cleaning spray. That's it. Okay, so I have our Ronald Amos here, wool exterior flat cap. Right now it's in fine condition, but let's say something had happened. And again, this all depends on the type of issue you're gonna have, but let's say something crusty got on there, maybe some food or something dried on there, we wanted to get that off. There's two ways to go about that. First, you wanna give it a really hard scrub with a brush. So, this brush itself is made of horse hair, which means you can go really hard on this exterior and get that nice and clean. So don't be afraid to be less than gentle. We wanna give it a vigorous scrub as we go through. So let's say I'm trying to get off that area, get as much of that off as I can. I get most of it on, but there's still some flaky bits in there, right? This is where we're gonna add in our wool safe spray. Just a quick foaming spray here. So just throwing some of that on right there and then brushing it right in. That spray will hopefully soften up any of the bits that are on the exterior, and it really brings the color and the life of the hat up. and just gives it that good zhuzh, as I like to say. So, just a quick two-step process. Usually I let it dry in between, see how that did. If you need to go again, give it some more. Don't oversaturate the area, and I would soak the entire area with that spray. So hit that whole side, do both sides, so it's a nice, even cleaning on it. Okay, so we've done the exterior. Exterior stains happen from time to time. They're a lot less common though than the second issue that I'm gonna address, which is an interior cleaning. What happens when we wear these over time is the sweatband is gonna get kind of gross and the interior can get a little stinky. All those things, we get a lot of questions of how do I clean the inside? The best way to do this is to periodically, and by periodically, I mean at least once a month if you're wearing it daily or almost every week with your hat, once a month, make sure you give this a wipe. And for that, all you need is a simple baby wipe. Baby wipes right here on the interior of that sweatband, all the way around, but principally the forehead. I would use one whole one on that. That a real good scrub. And then get a fresh one and actually do the interior of the hat. Depending on the lining, can consider doing a cleaning spray on the interior, but I wouldn't. I would do a baby wipe first and see how much that gets out. And if you do this at least once a month, it's really gonna improve the longevity of the hat. The inside lining is one thing, but especially that sweatband here, it's gonna collect everything that's on your forehead. And over time, it's gonna get kind of gross and stinky. So you just wanna clean that. If you need to wipe the underbrim, that's fine too. You just give it a nice little wipe. 
So think of that second part as more preventative maintenance. It's really going to extend the life of this cut and sew cap. These are built tough. They should last for a long time. The only thing that will prevent you from wearing them for a long time is if they get gross to the inside. So baby wipes are your friend. Well, that's it for another episode of Off the Wall. I hope this taught you how to clean your cut and sew and answer any questions you might have. But if it didn't, feel free to book an appointment with me on Goran.com. I'd be happy to walk you through any questions you have. And if you want to leave a comment on this YouTube video, I'll be able to answer those as well. So until I see you next time, keep living that hat life.